Dick painting medium, of course, is near the top of the viscosity ladder and it's for people who like to be excessive. And I suppose I could say I'm one of them. I, I like to be able to squelch paint around in a painterly way and uh, be able to move wet acrylic paint around. And so, of course, you can move paint that just come from the tube, you can move it around in a very expressive way for two and a half minutes, maybe. And you probably get dry brush, brush edges. So you don't have something where you can actually keep on working back into it, wet in wet, the way you can with oil paint. And I think this one does it. Thick painting medium is obviously thicker and juicier than the middle medium, but it still moves around nice. Now, I'm just extending some paint without any medium, and you see the dry brush effect. Now, that, that is paint being starved because it, it's wet paint being put onto a dry painting surface. Now, part of my concept about using mediums is to lubricate the surface that you're painting on so that the paint is able to move around and, and behave in a much more lively fashion than it can if you just use it straight from the tube onto a dry surface. So I'm talking about, uh, when I'm describing this, I'm talking about laying a kind of layer or bed of wet paint if you want to paint wet in wet. So this is for somebody that likes painting wet in wet in a very painterly way. As you can see, you can move the paint around and the brush marks are being retained and the medium itself is very painty. So when you add it to the paint, you simply get a dilution effect, obviously, but you've got the painterliness of painterly paint and it's rather a nice, depends on your personality, I guess, a nice sensation for a person that likes the feel of the paint, the, the, the substance of paint, uh, which of course you get with oil paint, but in acrylic paint, if you get the substance of the paint as it comes straight out the tube, it's dry in five minutes and you can't move it around. So you really need to be able to have the substance or the feel of the paint, and you need to have plenty of manipulation time. Now, if you simply spray that with unlocking formula, if it starts to dry, it'll be wet for an hour anyway. I'm going back to my demonstration painting. I'm very cruel to this painting. I keep on using the same old painting as the background or the underpinning. And after each demonstration, I just take the sink and wash off the demonstration. This time, I'm using the thick painting medium. You'll see another demonstration using the middle medium and you can see that the thick painting medium is very painterly, leaves a lot of brush marks and uh, um, so it looks a bit wild looking I suppose you could say if you want to give the impression of a very energetic application of paint in a very painterly way that's very easy to do with acrylics. Thank you for watching all of this. And if you would like to have more information, please just go to our website.